So today we're going to be doing a bit of a fish rescue operation slash adding a blue tang to the tank. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. Now today turned into a little bit of a fish rescue operation. I had a buddy who was moving and had to shut down his tank pretty quickly and he had a bunch of fish that needed homes. Now there's some pretty cool fish, but they're also a pretty big size. So they're way too much for my tank, but I'm gonna try a powder blue tang, which is a fish I've loved. I know it's a little bit questionable since I already have a hippo tang, although he had one with a hippo tang in his tank. So I'm hoping it's gonna work out. If not, I'll find a new home, but we're gonna try it. So right now I have a five gallon bucket with a powder blue tang, a hippo tang, a zero damsel, a chromis, and there's a ras in there. Right now I have a heater in there just letting these guys air bubble. And every five or so minutes, I'm adding about a scoop of my tank water to this bucket and then draining some out and just slowly acclimating them. So I'm really hoping that the powder blue is going to get along with the other fish in my tank. Um, the previous tank, it was with a yellow tang and a hippo tang and it was issue free. So I'm really hoping that my fish get along with this fish, but we're going to give it a bit of a test and hopefully it works out. I'm going to see if I can catch the zero damsel. They're actually one of the more peaceful, one of my favorite damsel fish. So it should hopefully be okay with the other one in my tank. Just got the first guy in. Next, we're gonna go for the powder blue. You know, right? Whew, he is a big guy. Yeah, so he's a beautiful fish. He's nice and fat and healthy. I mean, there's no spots or any signs of illness or anything on him, which is great to see. Uh, my Honestly, the biggest thing I worry about is just if he's gonna get along with my hippo tang. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on the tank for the next few days and then we'll see how things go and see if he's gonna be able to see. All right, so, so far, Mr. Kule, the yellow tang's been a little bit of a punk. He hasn't really been too aggressive, but he's puffing his fins up, trying to make him look like the biggest one. So he just keeps a little curious. The The new powder blue is just a little bit shy. He's not quite sure what's going on yet. So it'll probably take him a little bit of time to settle in. Hopefully there's no real squirrels or squ The other one I added was a second Azure Damsel. Now so far they're kind of darting around together. Um, hopefully, I have no idea how to tell the sex on them, but hopefully they're, they become little friends. It'd be cool if they paired up together, but I guess Kool Aid over there being a bit of a punk puffing out his fins. Blue hippo tang, Dottie, has been hiding, so we haven't really seen what happened there yet, so time will tell. All right, so now it's the next day after I added the powder blue to the tank. So the yellow tang was acting fairly aggressive towards him. He was doing the tail slap. So I did the mirror trick, and if you haven't tried that, you put a mirror on the side of the tank, and the yellow tang will be more concentrated with trying to harass himself than the other fish. So I left the mirror on yesterday till evening to kind of give the powder blue some time to settle in. Now, it definitely did the trick, um, as I haven't really noticed too much of him trying to harass him today. For the most part, he's just kind of stuck to his own cave. So the yellow tang's kind of alternated between this cave and this one over here. So originally I was kind of worried about the hippo tang in the powder blue, but the hippo tang, same thing. He's been in his cave, swims around a bit, goes back. So for the most part, the powder blue has been hanging out on this side of the tank. So. He's been kind of chilling around his little cave over here. He'll come out and explore a little bit, then go back in. It's kind of his little safety den for now. So, so far, so good there. And then we got the hippo tang. So far, yeah, it's been zero issues between the hippo and the powder blue, which kind of surprised me because that's the two I was worried about the most. Um, I did add a second azure damsel. My first one's been super peaceful. Um, so there's the original guy and the new one's over there. And he's been a little bit feisty. So these two are darting at each other on and off. Generally, they're one of the more peaceful damsels, at least with the one I had, zero issues. I've seen lots of people have shoals of them has been an issue, so let's see what happens with these two guys. So they're kind of going towards each other in a way, so I'm not sure if they're trying to step toe to toe or if they're just, you know, working out the pecking order. We'll see. But so far, the powder blue he's eating, um, no signs of ick or stress or anything. I mean, yesterday there was just a bit of stress from the yellow tang being a bit of a bugger, but Today he's looking pretty good. Um, fed some mice, so so far he seems pretty happy. As for over here, I mean, Powder Blue literally hasn't even cared, which still amazes me. He just does his own thing. He's ignored him. Yellow Tang's mainly hanging out in this cave over here. So it's been kind of interesting dynamics. I will keep you guys updated on how it goes. 
but aside from that, everything in the tank is looking great. My Leopard Wrath, when I first added him, he was in the tank. I saw him the first day and that didn't see him for about a week. And now you can see this awesome little guy, he's out swimming around all over the place. So he literally hid in the sand for about a week, or if he did come out, he only came out at night, because I did not see him at all. And now he's out constantly, so he's, he's definitely comfortable in the tank now, he's out and about, he's all over the place, which is awesome. So overall, the tank's, you know, doing pretty good. The corals are very happy, they're encrusting like crazy. Um, see the blue milli on top, so you can zoom in a bit on it. I added that guy a few weeks ago and you could already see how much it's in cresting over top of the clay so I mean it's, it's growing very well it's very happy it's encrusting so I'm very happy and stoked for that guy the leopard wrasses is out he's doing great um, the aggression that I saw yesterday in the tank is definitely toned down between the yellow tang and the blue tang or sorry the yellow tang and the powder blue so I'm uh, pretty happy there um, I do have some hope I'm hoping I don't have to rehome him and he can stay in here because it's gonna be a very sweet addition if they do all stay. Now just a bit of a kind of one last reminder for you guys, it's Monday morning and I'm 10 subs away from 3K. So you guys, if you're gonna enter the contest, get that video in, because Wednesday night's live stream is gonna be the draw. Otherwise guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button and that bell to stay up to date for more future videos from Reef Dudes.